Welcome, welcome back to another exciting week of reading through the Messianic Jewish Family Bible Tree of Life version. And this week we're going to be continuing on in the book of Psalms. Before we do that, I would like to open this up into prayer and invite the Holy Spirit into this week's teaching. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for the ability to come together to be in your word, your precious holy word. And every single word of the Bible, your word is precious and holy and righteous and truthful and faithful. And we love your word, God. We love you, God. And as we go forward in, in, in the study of the book of Psalms, we ask the Holy Spirit to come and to guide us through this week's teaching to open our eyes, open our ears of, of our heart um, so that we may learn what it is that you want us to learn. We may pick up things that we may never have picked up, but the Holy Spirit will make it clear to us what is important. We thank you, Father God, for this. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Jesus, Amen and Amen. Well, okay, we are going to continue in the book of Psalms. Um, we are in the last and final part of the Tanakh, which is known as the Ketuvim, the writings. Um, these very same books are in all Christian and, and Jewish um, Bibles. Um, this is known as the Old Testament. Uh, we call it the Tanakh. Um, we've got the Torah, which is the first five books of the Bible. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. The same in all Judeo-Christian Bibles, whether it's it's the Gentile Bible, whether it's the Jewish Bible, these are the same. It's the law. It's Moses' law. Um, but then we go on to the Nevim, which is the prophets. And now we're in the Ketuvim, which is the writings. And we are in the book of Psalms, which is the very first book of the Ketuvim. And it is the longest, actually, in the longest book in the Bible. Um, there are 150 psalms, you know, or we could say 150 chapters, but there are 150 psalms. And these psalms, you know, have been used in hymns, in praise and all, all kinds of praise and worship songs. Um, we've got a lot of bands that use the psalms, um, they will use key key verses in psalms and create songs from them. And we already know that um, David wrote about 73 of these psalms. And David was a musician, and I can just picture David singing these um, these these psalms, because psalms are also known as songs. Fifty of the psalms were written by an anonymous writer or anonymous writers. We've got Korah's descendants. We've got Solomon that wrote uh, two psalms. Uh, we've got Moses, who, t who who was given credit for Psalm 90. We've got Ethan, Heman, um, and Asa also who contributed. And then we've got compilers. Um, Asaph was a compiler. Hezekiah was a compiler. And Nehemiah was a compiler of the book of Psalms. So it is, it is very, it's a very important book. And I'm going to go through, as I go through each of the Psalms that we're going to touch on tonight, I will tell you who is responsible for uh, the writing of this particular Psalm. So we are going to start with Psalm 25, who was written by David. And this is such a beautiful Psalm when we think about walking with the Lord, walking in his precepts and his path. And it's actually called, Teach Me Your Path of David. To you, Adonai, I lift up my soul. Oh my God, I trust in you. So I will not be ashamed and my enemies will not gloat over me. Surely no one who waits for you will be ashamed, but the treacherous without cause will be ashamed. Show me your ways, Adonai. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my salvation. For you, I wait all day. Remember, Adonai, your compassions and your mercies, for they are from eternity. 
Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my rebellion. According to your mercy, remember me for the sake of your goodness. Adonai, good and upright is Adonai. Therefore he directs sinners in, in the way. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. All Adonai's ways are loving kindness and truth to those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, Adonai, pardon my guilt, for it is great. Who is this man who fears Adonai? He will instruct him in the way he should choose. His soul abides in goodness, and his off offspring will inherit the land. The secret of Adonai is for those who fear him. He makes his covenant known to them. His eyes are always looking to Adonai. I'm sorry, my, my eyes are always looking to Adonai, for he will put my feet out of the net. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. The troubles of my heart increase. Bring me out of my distress, see my affliction and my suffering, and take away all my sins. See my enemies, how many they are. They hate me with violent hatred. Guard my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I take refuge in you. May integrity and not brightness protect me, for I wait for you. Redeem Israel, O God, from all their troubles. Chapter 26, or Psalm 26, is also written by David. Walking with integrity of David. Vindicate me, Adonai, for I have walked in my integrity and trusted in Adonai without wavering. Probe me, Adonai, and test me. Refine my mind and my heart. Your love is before my eyes, and I have walked in your truth. I have not sat with men of falsehood, nor do I consort with hypocrites. I detest the company of evildoers, and do not sit with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocence, so I can walk around your altar, Adonai, hearing the voice of thanksgiving, while proclaiming all your wonders. Adonai, I love the house where you live, the place where your glory dwells. Do not take my soul away with sinners, nor my life with people of bloodshed, in whose hands are wicked schemes, whose right hand is full of bribes. But I, I will walk in my integrity. Redeem me and be gracious to me. My feet stand on level ground. In congregations I will bless Adonai. Psalm 27. Let your courage let your heart take courage of David. Adonai is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? I love this psalm, actually. I'm going to start that over again. Adonai is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? Adonai is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? When evildoers approached me to devour my flesh, my adversaries and my foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army camp besieges me, my heart will not fear. Though war breaks out against me, even then will I be confident. One thing ha have I asked of Adonai that, I, that will I seek, to dwell in the house of Adonai all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of Adonai and to meditate in his temple. For in the day of trouble he will hide me in his sukkah, conceal me in the shelter of his tent, and set me high upon a rock. Then will my head be high above my enemies around me. In his tabernacle I will offer sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing, yes, sing praises to Adonai. Hear, Adonai, when I call with my voice, be gracious to me and answer me. To you my heart says, seek my face. Your face, Adonai, I seek. Do, do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon me or forsake me. O oh God, my salvation, though my father and my mother forsake me, Adonai will take me in. Teach me your way, Adonai, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes. For false witnesses rise up against me, breaking out violence. Surely I trust that I will see the goodness of Adonai in the land of the living. Wait for Adonai. Be strong. Let your heart take courage and wait for Adonai. As you know, um, David um, was constantly uh, being pursued, and he was he he was actually uh, 
fighting a lot of wars too. So um, he was always um, in communion with God and, and crying out to God for protection as well. Um, and he did have enemies though, um, but his courage and his faith and his strength came from Adonai uh, because he trusted in the Lord with all of his being, even though there were things that he, you could, you could certainly see in his writings. I mean, there was some fear there, but still he's, he's actually telling himself, you know, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? You know, what do I have to worry about when I have the Lord? So he's actually comforting himself with these words as well. And, you know, as we see, you know, dangerous things around us, we, you know, and evil rising all around us, we need to also take comfort in those words because they are true. Now we've got the Lord. Um, you're a child of God. You're a child of light, not a child of darkness. And the Lord is with you all the time. You have nothing to fear. This world is temporary. Um, we have something better to actually look forward to. We have the kingdom of God to look forward to. Um, so we do, we don't need to be fearful. Because we have eternal life and that is forever. Psalm 28, Hoshiana. Uh, and this is a psalm written by David as well. To you, Adonai, I call my rock. Do not be deaf to me. If you were silent to me, I would become like those going down to the pit. Hear the sound of my pleas when I cry to you for help. When I lift up my hands toward your holy sanctuary, do not drag me away with the wicked and with doers of iniquity who speak peace with their neighbors while evil is in their hearts. Repay them for their deeds, their evil acts. Repay them for their deeds of their hands. Bring back on them what they deserve, since they show no regard for the deeds of Adonai nor the works of his hands. He will tear them down and never build them up. Blessed be Adonai, because he has heard the sound of my supplications. Adonai is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and I was helped. So he's saying, my heart trusts in him, in Adonai. And because of that, I was helped. Therefore, my heart leaps for joy, and I will praise him with my song. Adonai is their strength, a stronghold of salvation for his anointed. Praise God. Save your people. Bless your inheritance. Shepherd them and carry them forever. Very, very powerful, powerful psalm. And Psalm 29 is also a psalm of David. God thunders throughout creation. Ascribe to Adonai, O sons of God. Ascribe to Adonai glory and strength. Ascribe to Adonai the glory of his name. Bow down to Adonai in the beauty of holiness. The voice of Adonai is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. Adonai is over mighty waters. The voice of Adonai is powerful. The voice of Adonai is full of majesty. The voice of Adonai breaks the cedars. Yes, Adonai shepherds cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf, Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of Adonai hews out flames of fire. The voice of Adonai shakes the desert. Adonai shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of Adonai makes the deer writhe in birth and strips forest bare. And in his temple, all are saying, Glory. Adonai sits enthroned over the flood. Yes, Adonai sits as king forever. Adonai gives strength to his people. Adonai blesses his people with shalom. When you read that, you can you can feel you know how much praise and honor that David is giving Adonai, and and actually writing of the majesty of of Adonai of God. Psalm 30 is also a psalm of David. Joy comes in the morning. This is a psalm, a song for the dedication of the temple of David. I will exalt you, Adonai, for you have lifted me up and did not let my enemies gloat over me. 
And I my God, I cried to you for help and you healed me. And I you brought my soul up from Sheol. You kept me alive so I would not go down to the pit. Sing praise to Adonai, his faithful ones, and praise his holy name, for his anger lasts for only a moment. His favor is for a, a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but joy comes in the morning. When I felt secure, I said, I will never be shaken. Adonai, in your favor, you made my mountain stand strong. When you hid your face, I was terrified. To you, Adonai, I called, and to my Lord, I made my plea. What gain is there in my blood, in my going down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it declare your truth? Hear Adonai, and be gracious to me. Adonai, be my help. You turned my mourning into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. So my glory will sing to you and not be silent. Adonai, my God, I will praise you forever. Psalm 31 is also a psalm of David. Refuge, Sukkah, Shelter. For the music director, a psalm of David. In you, Adonai, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame in your righteousness. Deliver me, turn your ear to me, rescue me quickly. Be a rock of refuge for me, a stronghold for my deliverance. Since you are my rock and my fortress, you lead me and guide me for your name's sake. Free me from the net they hid for me. For you are my refuge. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, Adonai, God of truth. Now, I want to pause this for a moment because that line is like a shadow, a foreshadowing, because Yeshua said on the cross, into your hand I commit my spirit. So this is, this is David, though, speaking of deliverance and and, and trusting in, you know, in God with his whole being. And, and no matter what, he was, he was giving himself to the Lord. I detest those who continue to watch worthless idols, but I trust in that and I, I will be glad and rejoice in your loving kindness for you saw my affliction. You knew the troubles of my soul. You did not hand me over to the enemy. You set my feet in a wide open place. Gracious to me, Adonai, for I am in distress. My eyes waste away with grief. My soul and my body is as well, for my life is consumed in sorrow and my years in sighing. My strength fail, fails because of my anguish and my bones waste away. Because of all my adversaries, I am in, I, I am the contempt of my neighbors and a dread to my acquaintances. Seeing me on the street, they flee from me. I am as forgotten as a dead man. I have become like a broken vessel, for I have heard the whispering of many. There is terror on every side as they conspire against me and plot to take my life. But I have trusted in you, Adonai. I said, you are my God. My times are in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of my foes and from those who pursue me. Make your face shine on your servant. Save me in your loving kindness. Adonai, let me not be ashamed, for I have called upon you. Let the wicked be ashamed. Let them be silent in Sheol. Let the lying lips be mute, like they speak arrogantly against the righteous with pride and contempt. How great is your goodness, which you have stored up for those who fear you, which you have given to those who have taken refuge in you. Before the children of men in the shelter of your presence, you hide them from people's plots. You can steal them in a sukkah, from the strife of tongues. Blessed be Adonai, for he has shown me his wonderful love in a besieged city. I said in my alarm, I have been cut off from your sight, but you heard the sound of my pleas when I cried out to you. Love Adonai, all his Kedashim. Adonai preserves all the faithful, but the proud he pays back in full. Shazat, let your heart take courage. All you who wait, for Adonai. The Kedashim is known as the saints, the holy ones. And Kazakh, which is spelled C-H-A-Z-A-K, it means be strong. Psalm 32 is also of David, a contemplative song. This is confess, return, and learn. 
Blessed is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is pardoned. Blessed is the one whose guilt Adonai does not count, and whose and, and, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. Got tongue tied there for a second. When I kept silent, my bones became brittle through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My strength was drained as in the droughts of summer. Selah. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not hide my iniquity. I said, I confess my transgressions to Adonai, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Selah. So let everyone who is godly pray to you in a time when you may be found. When great floodwaters rise, they will not reach him. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from distress. You surround me with songs of deliverance. Selah. And there was a song that was made of, uh, about that. You are my hiding place. Beautiful anointed song. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will give counsel. My eye is on you. Do not be like the horse or the mule, which have no understanding, and must be held in with bit and bridle, or they will not come to you. Many are the sorrow, sorrows of the wicked, but loving kindness surrounds the one who trusts in Adonai. Be glad in Adonai and rejoice, you righteous, and shout for joy, all who are upright in heart. Now, Psalm 33 is an anonymous writer. All creation praise the Creator. Sing for joy to Adonai, you righteous. Praise is fitting for the upright. Praise Adonai with a harp. Sing praises to him with a ten-string lyre. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully amid shouts of joy. For the word of Adonai is upright, and all his work is done in faithfulness. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the love of Adonai. By Adonai's words, word were the heavens made, and all their hosts by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the water up, waters of the sea together in a heap. He lays up deep waters in storehouses. Let all the earth fear Adonai. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke, and it came to be. He commanded, and it stood firm. Adonai foils the purpose of the nations. He thwarts the plans of the peoples. The plan of Adonai stands forever, the purposes of his heart from generation to generation. Blessed is the nation whose God is Adonai. Hmm. Amen on that. For the people he chose for his own inheritance. Adonai looks down from heaven. He observes all humanity. From his dwelling place he gazes on all the inhabitants of the earth. He who fashions the hearts of all, who discerns all their deeds. No king is saved by, by his great army. No warrior is delivered by great strength. A horse is a false hope for victory, nor can it can its great strength save. Behold, the eyes of Adonai are on those who fear him, waiting for his love to deliver their souls from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for Adonai. He is our help and our shield. Our heart rejoices in him. Because we trusted in his holy name. Let your loving kindness, Adonai, be upon us as we have waited for you.